The QWERTY keyboard is something we use every day. But have you ever stopped to wonder why the keys are arranged in such a strange way? Believe it or not, the QWERTY layout has a fascinating history full of surprising twists and turns. Let's explore how it came to be the standard keyboard we know today. In the 1860s, Christopher Latham Scholes, a newspaper editor and inventor, was working on one of the earliest typewriters. His original keyboard design wasn't QWERTY, it was alphabetical. However, this design had a significant problem. When people typed too quickly, the mechanical arms of the typewriter would jam. Scholes realized he needed to solve this issue to make the typewriter practical. Working with a team of collaborators, he experimented with different key arrangements to reduce the likelihood of jams. The QWERTY layout was born as a way to separate commonly used letter pairs, slowing typists down just enough to prevent the arms from colliding. In 1873, Schultz sold his typewriter design to the Remington Arms Company, which began mass producing the typewriters. The QWERTY layout became the standard for these machines. At this point, typing schools began teaching the QWERTY layout ensuring that generations of typists would use it. Over the years, other keyboard layouts like the Dvorak Simplified Keyboard were proposed. Dvorak claimed his layout was more efficient and ergonomic, but by then, QWERTY was already deeply ingrained. The cost of retraining typists and redesigning typewriters made switching nearly impossible. Despite being designed for a problem that no longer exists, typewriter jams, the QWERTY layout remains the global standard. This is a classic example of path dependence, where an early choice becomes so entrenched that changing it is impractical, even if better alternatives exist. Here's a quirky fact. The word typewriter can be typed using only the top row of a QWERTY keyboard. This was allegedly a marketing tactic by Scholes to demonstrate the usefulness of his design to potential buyers. The QWERTY keyboard is more than just a tool. It's a relic of innovation, compromise, and tradition. What started as a solution to a mechanical problem has become a cornerstone of modern communication. So the next time you sit down to type, remember the strange and fascinating story of how QWERTY came to rule the world.